Alright guys, welcome back to another Call of the Wild the Angler video. Today we are headed out here on the new South Africa Reserve and on this occasion what I'm gonna show you are some of the diamond locations that have been found recently and that have been posted on the official the Angler Discord server. I didn't discover any of these locations myself, so the credit goes to whoever posted them first on the official server. We are getting a nibble on the triot. Must be a huge mirror. Yeah, it is taking line at 35% drag on the Thief Talker Reel. And we cannot increase the drag anymore because we're only using a 17.5 kilo line and apparently this guy is way heavier than that. So I'm honestly starting to think it may have a chance to be a small diamond. Holy. I mean, since we're currently using a hook size number 3 odd, it has to be gold or better. But the thing is that I have already caught a couple goals on this location and none of them produce close to the same amount of tension as this one. It is not running anymore though. He start. Man, for a moment I thought it was gonna be really big, but seeing how quickly he gave up, I think it is likely just a huge gold. Hopefully I'm wrong, but we'll see. Let's land it. Huge carp, 18.72 kilos, but it's only a gold. Our biggest gold so far. I really wonder what is the minimum diamond weight, because as far as I remember, on Spain, the minimum diamond weight for these guys is like 19 kilos. I may be wrong, but assuming that is true, and assuming that they are the same size as on Spain, this guy would be very, very close to diamond. Oh! What is this? I don't wanna get my hopes up too much, but it's looking good. It is looking really promising, this may be our first diamond mirror carp. Finally. After more than 10 goals. You know, that's how it goes sometimes, because on this game, getting diamonds is mostly a matter of luck. Of course it's important to know the diamond locations, of course it's important to use the correct setups, but at the end of the day it comes down to mostly luck. So once you're fishing on a known diamond location like this one, you're always gonna have a chance to catch a diamond. And the best thing you can do is to use a bronze or a silver hook and try to catch as many fish as possible hoping that at some point a diamond will spawn. But it's never guaranteed that it will come quickly, because a lot of times it can take several hours of constant grinding in order for one to spawn. Now let's see if this carp is actually diamond. I would say it is very likely. Let's see. And there we have it, let's go. 25.83 kilos, our first time on Mirror Carp here in Africa. What a giant. Now I gotta say that the model of these guys could be quite bigger for that weight, especially if you compare it with how big the commons and the grass carps get with a similar weight, but they look amazing nonetheless. I just think they could look significantly bigger with how heavy they get. Also, I don't understand why my name says Init Player instead of ProXK. It's been like that the whole session, so I don't know what happened, but regardless, I'm really happy that we finally managed to catch one of these monsters. It's been a grind. Several hours trying to catch one of these, and finally, here we have it. Alright. That's some tension. 40 minutes after the diamond, we may have a second. It is still too early to tell, but the fact that it is taking that much line at 35% drag is definitely a good sign. Less than 10 meters out already. He didn't fight as hard as a diamond, but he did fight harder than all our goals. So I wanna think there's a chance it is a diamond. A small diamond. Come on. It is a gold. Just a gold, 19.82 kilograms. That's a monster. I thought the diamond weight was perhaps gonna be around 19, but apparently it is close to 20. So close from our second diamond. Alright, so this is the location on which we are fishing at the moment. This hole right here. 
It is a known diamond location for both mirror carp and blue carper, but when it comes to fishing carps, what I recommend you using is a hook size number one knot which is on a bottom setup, and as for where to cast, the only thing you need to make sure is to cast towards this deep area, towards this darker area. You can maybe take these two markers as reference and then stand wherever you are able to reach them, but it really doesn't matter because I'm pretty sure that these diamonds can spawn pretty much anywhere within this hole. Although if I had to recommend you one place to stand, it would definitely be this sunken structure right here. It is a great position from where many diamonds and goals have been caught, including the ones you just saw. We hooked a giant. We hooked a monster, it is a monster common carp. On a hook size number one knot with boil is natural. It is essentially the same setup I was using to catch mirror carps on the big hole, but the difference is that here instead of catching mostly mirrors, you are gonna catch mostly common carps. Such a beautiful location man, such a beautiful cave, and the fact that it is possible to catch diamonds here is simply amazing because we also have some amazing caves on the Spain map Aguas Claras, but for some reason those caves do not support diamond spawns. And it is a shame since if they did, I'm pretty sure a lot more people would spend time fishing on them in such a unique location. Alright, what about to land this carp? I don't think it will be diamond, but we'll see. May surprise us. Well, it is only gold, 20.36 kilos. Not even our personal best. Oh, this one is also big, eh? After several silvers, he took a while to hook another big one. Well, seemingly, even though this guy is massive, I don't think it will be bigger than the last one. In fact, everything indicates that it will be quite smaller. Let's see a wait. Seventeen point eighty four kilos, another gold. Not a surprise. We knew it was gonna be smaller than the first one, and in fact it ended up being quite lighter than the first gold. Oh no way. We hooked something really big. We hooked something really big. I think it is gonna be diamond. Man, I can't believe it because I was just about to leave the area, but I decided to do a last cast with the triot. A short cast in front of the dog, which is something I rarely ever do here. Now, regarding the upcoming legendaries, I'm pretty sure that just like me, a lot of you are very excited to see what species they chosen for this map, because man, there are so many cool options, so many cool species, that it kinda sucks that they can only choose three. So if you ask me to pick three species that I would choose above anything else for these three upcoming legendaries, I would personally say, the African Moral Deal, the African Sharp Tooth Catfish, and the African Tigerfish. Especially the catfish, because imagine, if it is already the heaviest non-legendary species in the game, imagine how massive the legendary version would be. Certainly exciting to think about it, so I definitely hope that at least the catfish will be part of the lineup. Ok, let's see the size of this carp. Is it actually diamond? Has to be. It is heavy. Yeah, look at that. 25.38 kilos, it is a diamond. What a monster. I feel these are definitely way harder to catch here than on Spain, because on Spain they are honestly a very common diamond. What we can deny though, is that this place is undoubtedly the best location to catch one of these diamonds, and not because there are many carps here, but simply because of that beautiful background. So I'ma show you the location here on the map. I'm not gonna attempt to pronounce the name of the cave, but it is this cave right here. Once you enter the cave, you are gonna get to this area, and inside this area, what I recommend you is to try with both shortcuts and long casts using a hook size number one knot, which is, which is for silvers and better. And here it doesn't matter if you choose a bottom setup or a float setup, because this area is only a couple meters deep, and that makes it irrelevant. Oh, what is that? 
No way it is a small mount. Literally the second fish I hook here. And seeing that tension, it could only be a really big smallmouth bass or a sported bass. A decent sized sported bass. Which I'm not even sure they can spawn here. Let's see. Please be a smallmouth. It is tired, it is giving up. Almost 10 meters out. So let's see exactly what we're about to land. Is it actually a smallmouth bass? Or a sported bass? Oh, no way! It is a smallmouth! It is a smallmouth bass! Must be massive! I have barely spent any time fishing for this guy, so if it is a diamond, you'd be crazy! You'd be crazy because it is a tough diamond! It's been giving a hard time to a lot of people! Let's land it. Yes, he made it! 3.09 kilos. Let's go! A diamond a small mouth bass. On a size 7 frog. And in case you notice that despite this being with difference, our heavy is a small mouth bass so far, the length of the fish does not display any increment. The reason is because these guys used to be quite bigger when the map got released. I mean, the weight was exactly the same, but the model was significantly bigger, way too big in relation to the weight. That's why they later got adjusted. So it is likely that a couple of the goals that I had the luck to catch before the model was fixed were actually bigger than this diamond, which would explain why this guy is not our personal base when it comes to length. Oh, that one's big. You cannot be serious. Very similar tension to the diamonds, so we may be able to catch a second. No shot. Man, who would have thought we suffered a lot to get diamonds of some of the species that are considered easy, and now we're having a field day with a species that has been frustrating for a lot of people. 3.02 kilos, another diamond. Our second diamond in the last 10 minutes. That's insane. I wanna think we're just being very lucky because I really doubt this body is usually that good. That's a big one. That's a big boy. Men. You know, just as yesterday, I'm currently using a number 7 frog, and just as yesterday, I arrived at this location between 8.30 and 9 in the morning. I'ma show you the spot right after we catch this guy, which I certainly hope will be our third time on a smallmouth pass. It is fighting hard. Three point oh one kilos. There we have it. Another diamond. I would have never imagined we were gonna catch three diamonds on this place. And another crazy thing is that we're yet to catch a single gold on this location. Just straight to diamond three times. That's crazy. So this is the spot right here. Essentially the area around this marker, very close to the starting outpost. And what I would recommend you is to park your boat exactly where I have mine and to use a number 7 frog on a bait casting rig. Make sure to cast all around the boat because the diamonds can spawn pretty much anywhere within this location. And in case you are not getting bites with a number 7 frog, what you can do is to switch over to a number 8 frog and try to catch some of the small fish that are probably gonna be in the area. Nice tension. And it is a smallmouth yellowfish. Look at the size of that, that's a big boy. But it's only gold, 6.15 kilos. Nice way to start the day. Oh, hold up, that's some tension. 
What is this? Hey, smallmouth yellowfish. Will this be the diamond? No, 6.88 kilograms. Man, it is huge. The diamond weight is 7 kilos. We've been catching a lot of goals here, but this one is the biggest so far. Now, this one may it actually be the diamond. It is definitely a smallmouth yellowfish, and it almost took the line tension to 12 o'clock. Man, it's gonna be on the limit. Maybe a small diamond, let's see. No, 6.95 kilos. Only 50 grams shy from diamond. So close. And so many calls without a single diamond. It is almost like the gold paradise, because up to this point I've got like 20 calls, only on this spot. And the majority of them have been using a size 3 spinner, which is for silvers and better, or a size 1 popper, which is for golds and better. That one's big. Ooh. We may have a diamond here. Finally, no way. I mean, based on the tension, I don't think there's any doubt. We already caught one that was incredibly close from 7 kilos, and it didn't put as much tension on the line as this one is putting. Maybe our new personal best, because it wouldn't be our first diamond since we already caught another three of these species on another location, but it may be our new biggest, because those were all relatively small. Let's land it. And there we have it, finally diamond. 8.81 kilos, our new personal best. Way heavier than our previous one. We had to catch more than 20 goals in the last couple days to finally get a diamond on this location, but it was worth it. What a catch. So I'ma show you the spot here on the map real quick. Right here. All around this area in front of this waterfall, and talking about the setup, what I recommend you is to cast out all around the boat using a number 3 spinner, letting it sink like 5 meters on the deep areas, but as always, you also have the option to do the same by trying something bigger, like a number 1 or a number 2 spinner, just to test the wires and see if there's a big boy already roaming around around your boat, you never know. So anyway guys, that's gonna be it for today's video, if you enjoyed this kind of content, don't forget to leave a like and a comment to support the video, and please consider subscribing to the channel to receive the notifications for all the upcoming guides. So with that said, thank you for watching, and see you next time.